The Breeders' Cup distaff will end at day one. Disappointingly small field in this, but I bet nobody has much choice really because I think this is one of those ones that's got a minimum rating. I probably need looking at as well, along with a million other things, but never mind that now. Anna Yarn is Darren Thompson, Elderbury Symphony, Dan Hughes, Hopeswell, Dan Hughes, Adairsville, Darren Thompson, Toffee Craig Beckwith, and Town Solutions, Leon Van Rinsburg. And then away and racing. This will just provide more winners for the top trainers as nobody else can get in it. And Town Solutions is probably just about the leader now. With Anna Yarnes and Hope Swell. Pulling for its head, Anna Yarnes. That one has now gone on. And comes down to the seven furlong point with a lead of two lengths. So Darren Thompson top and tail in the field at the moment. Dan Hughes has also got two in this. You can see we've only got four trainers involved in a Group 1 race, which is really not right, is it? And the yarn is in front from Town Solutions and Toffee and Eldenbury Symphony. Uh, Hope's well at Daresville. Here's the back market. I personally hope a Daresville wins this because it came back from last season and it would be Nice to see horses coming back. If any of the others came back, and I've not noticed it, oh, I apologise for that. Actually, I think maybe Dan Hughes's pair may have. I seem to recognise their names. So maybe they were around last season as well. So, anyway, scrub that last bit. You know, just like the idea of horses coming back and it being a proper sort of simulation where we get a career, a good two year old comes back to be a good three year old. I tried it this year in mind. Didn't work, they were all useless. Anyway, never mind. Anna Yarnis is in front for a long and a half to go. From Town Solutions in Adairsville. Then comes Elderberry Symphony, Hopeswell, and finally Toffee. Inside the final furlong, Anna Yarn is he's holding on. Adairsville, the stable companion there now, comes to sweep past and takes it up. And now here come the Dan Hughes pair, Elderberry Symphony, and Hopeswell, and all of a sudden it's all changed. Oh, it's close as they flash past the post. Did Adairsville hang on? Yeah, I think it did. Daresville's taking it. For oh, Darren Thompson, Dan Hughes, second and third. Elderberry Symphony and Hope Swell. Toffee was fourth for Craig Beckwith. And a yarn is for Darren Thompson again was fifth. That's day one. Day two will follow tomorrow. I can't actually guarantee there'll be any comms tomorrow because it'll be a bit of a busy day. So we'll have to see what happens.